Good afternoon, and welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today we celebrate the commemoration of all the faithful departed, all souls. All our Mass intentions, in Bida, Pro Infamorum, and Animas, are scrolling live streamed. They are also printed and posted within the main church and chapels. Additionally, they are in the sacristy for the Archbishop and priests to pray for at each Mass and are also placed on the altar during the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Our presider for Eucharistic celebration is Father Romy Convocar, concelebrating is Father Wilma Mangan, assisting is Deacon Steve Martinez. Please stand and let us pray the Angelus and the prayer for healing victims of abuse. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. It is done to me according to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts 
that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be world without end. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be world without end. Prayer for healing victims of abuse. Holy Spirit, comforter of hearts, heal your people's wounds and transform brokenness into wholeness. Grant us the courage and wisdom, humility and grace to act with justice. Breathe wisdom into our prayers and labors. Grant that all harm by abuse may find peace in justice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good afternoon. Our gathering hymn number 461, Come to Me. Four, six, one. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Father. Welcome to our celebration. We offer this Mass for all of our beloved departed. We especially pray for all the animas that you are praying, your intentions, those that are live streamed. In silence, we remember them. We also especially include to pray for the souls of Brenda and Talon, Leonela Bernardo, and Juan Guzman. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of the resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine, and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. I fear no 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also whoever feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Yesterday, the Feast of All Saints brought us to contemplate the Holy City, the Heavenly Jerusalem, our Mother. And in prayers, we have united ourselves with the Church triumphant, those who behold God face to face. Today, also stay with our hearts and minds still turned toward this ultimate reality we commemorate all the faithful departed who have gone before us marked with a sign of faith and who sleep in Christ. This day brings back memories of them 
we can be emotional since most of the people that we pray for are significant in our lives. No? So for me personally, I'm praying in this Mass for my father and my mother, um, some relatives, and a classmate, a priest who died of COVID uh, very recently. And of course, for all the intentions that you have for all the animas that uh, we are praying for, uh, we pray for them that their good deeds may merit them eternal life. We pray that even in their imperfections, the Lord God may grant them mercy, forgiveness, and peace. It is important that we as Christians live a relationship of truth of faith with the deceased, that we view death, we view death and afterlife in the light of the revelation that is the light of the Lord's promises in the gospel. Today, as we renew our hope in eternal life, the book of wisdom in the first reading says, the souls of the just are in the hand of God. No torment shall touch them. They seem in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction. Their going forth utter destruction, but they are in peace. Now they are in peace. St. Paul, writing to the first communities, exhorted the faithful not to grieve as others do who have no hope. Since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. From the letter of Paul to the Romans, in our second reading today, we are reminded, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live the, nuna, the newness of life with him. So this particular text from the letter of Paul to the Romans reminds us of the reality that we who are baptized belong to Christ. We belong to his church. And because of that, by virtue of the baptism that we have, by virtue of the faith that we have, we will rise with him. A beautiful reminder from the letter of St. Paul. And so today, we entrust all our beloved departed again to the mercy of God, as we usually do in our prayers. We know that purgatory is a reality in the afterlife. Revelations chapter 21 verse 7 says, Nothing impure will enter heaven, for God is all holy, all pure. So we pray that our beloved departed may be purified, may be forgiven, and may be rewarded with the, by the Lord by their, of their good, good life, you know, of their good deeds. Revelations chapter 7, 10, verse 10 says, Salvation comes from the Lamb, from Jesus, the Lamb of God. So we are purified by the blood of the Lamb. Now, the, the gospel of today from St. John reminds us now with the Lord saying, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you do not have life within you. Now, salvation comes from the Lamb. This Holy Mass, this Eucharist, is the sacrifice of the Lamb of God that purifies our sins, bring relief to souls. Salvation comes from the Lamb, our God, who is seated at the throne, and from the Lamb. Jesus is the Lamb, sacrificed on the cross. So in this Mass, the sacrifice of the Lamb, this brings salvation to our loved ones. Now, St. Therese of the Child Jesus, who have great faith in Jesus, the Lamb of God, said, when she was on her deathbed, I am not dying. I am entering into life. Because she believed in the Lamb, who is the source of our salvation. Um, I found also this quotation coming from St. Monica, the mother of St. Augustine. When Monica was dying, her sons, uh, one of them is St. Augustine, was sad. 
um, the brother of St. Augustine reminds him that Monica actually wanted to die in their native land. No, but they are in a foreign place. But Monica told Augustine and the other son, lay this body anywhere and take the trouble over it. One thing only do I ask of you, that you remember me at the altar of the Lord, wherever you may be. So what Monica was asking, St. Augustine, is that uh, you can bury me anywhere, no? but when you say the Mass, remember me. No, remember me in your prayers. Praying for the dead is in evidence at the very stage of the church development. So Monica was clearly asking for these prayers no, from her son. In the story of the last judgment, it is brought to a realization that at the end of the day, there is judgment. We face the Creator and that there is reward and punishment. But our faith in Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, and our acts of charity, our acts of generosity in this life, the faith that is lived day to day will bring us salvation. So in this Mass, again, my brothers and sisters, we entrust all our beloved departed. Now, we may not be able to mention all of them, and so there's a lot of them, now, but we know that uh, as we offer our prayers for them, the Lord recognizes the prayers of our hearts. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. To God of Father of mercy and the Lord of compassion, let us pray. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and religious who serve our church, that their ministries among us may proclaim the good news of Easter's empty tomb, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nations and peoples of the world, that God will destroy the hate that divides them and bring them together in the ways of justice and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who mourn the deaths of family and friends, that in our loving support they may find the strength to continue their own life journeys, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the recovering, and the dying, that the compassion of Jesus may be present to them in our prayers and care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in the peace of Christ, that they may find in the presence of God light, happiness, and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we now make in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, may your peace guide our steps and your hope light our way as we journey through this life. We make our prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> our hymn for the preparation of the gifts, number 437 on eagle's wings, 437.
shelter of the Lord will abide in his shadow for life. Say to the Lord, my refuge, my rock, in whom I trust, and he will raise you up on eagles' wings. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for his glory for our good and all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son. In this great mystery of love, we are all united who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, that though sudden by the certainty of dying, might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, o Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts you have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, given thanks, he said a blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, our recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, and filled with His Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants whom you have called from this world to yourself.
Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection, when from the earth He will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of His own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say. Pan libre hum in ka gaw hawa saina ginito de italazi za na mago fau no ma i pas i ha anin mami pasa ke ginija don imena asimo senya man libre hum todo i tempo ginen i zal zan man safo ginen todo china tinaso mientras inan nang guys inan tusa na inau ko jan ifinatan isat badot mami ases of Cristo. Jesus Christ has said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you as if you were already there. Keep me close to you each day. Amen. First communion hymn will be number three, two, five. I am the bread of life. Three, two, five.
Number four, six. Beyond the moon and stars. Four, six. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament may pass over to the dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now pray a responsory for all our beloved departed for the bishops and archbishops that are buried here and for all those we remember through these memorial candles. Let us pray. Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. Through his rest in the tomb, you hollow the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and of the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with Him in the hope of rising again. Since they are true to your name on earth, so let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in his unfathomable goodness he created the human race, and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins. Unto all the dead, a place of light and peace. Amen. Amen. So may all who live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe, truly rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God through your lives. Thanks be to God. Our, our sending forth him, rise up with him.